Hey friends. So have you ever just had the same meals over and over again as you're trying to get in shape and you're trying to lose some weight and it just gets so boring? So you're like, I'm gonna spice it up. So then you go and you buy one of these all purpose seasonings and you use it and then keep using it and it all stays the same. Today I'm gonna show you how you can make a bunch of different spice blends to use in your foods that is calorie free and really spices things up in a great way. And why make it yourself? Let's take a look at some of the ingredients in some of these spice blends. So this one has salt, sugar, spices. It doesn't even tell you what the spices are. Then there is all kinds of, let's see, phosphate to make it free flowing, sunflower oil, extractives of paprika and natural flavors. This one doesn't have any added MSG, which is a good thing because a lot of them do, but we don't want anti-caking agencies. We want the real thing. So the best case scenario is that you grow your herbs and you dry them and you make your own blends. But if that's not a possibility, let's just make an Italian blend and let me show you how easy it is to make your own. So the first thing we're gonna need is some dried oregano. Now, if you can find yourself some organic dried oregano, that is fabulous, let's do it. But we're just gonna put a teaspoon of each of these in there. We're gonna make small batches so that we can replenish them often and they stay fresh because we do want them to stay as fresh as possible. Now, normally I would put garlic in there, but as you've been with me for a while, you may know I cannot tolerate garlic. It kills my stomach. So we're gonna just leave that one out there. Next, we're gonna add some rosemary. So I've got some dried rosemary here. And we're gonna add some thyme in there. I have to take off this little shaker thingy. And for now, I'm just adding equal amounts. But the great thing about making your own is that if you love basil, you can put more basil in there. If you love rosemary, you can put more rosemary in there. So when you make your own, you are in control. So important when you're cooking. You don't want somebody else's preferences in your food. Okay, let's keep that aside. Let's get some basil. I'm just gonna get some dried basil here. I should have grabbed it ahead of time. Put some dried basil in there. And then we can add things like dried parsley, maybe some chili flake. I'm gonna put a little bit of extra basil in there because I really love it. And then if you like it spicy, you can add just some chili flakes to it. You wanna make sure that it's just pure chili flakes so there's not a lot of other stuff happening. And I'm just putting a tad in there. And then it's as simple as you can add salt and pepper. You can keep it salt and pepper free. It's up to you. Now I am gonna go ahead and add some salt because I wanna take that extra step out of it. So I will add one teaspoon of sea salt. There we go. We'll give it a little shaky shake again. And there is our blend already made. And what, it took a minute and a half, maybe? All right, so then the important step becomes we have to label it. So let's see if we can find ourselves a pen to label. And of course, I cannot find the pen to label it, but we'll do that later then. We'll just set that one aside. That one's fairly easy to tell. Let's make some ranch. Okay, so a very similar process. We are going to need some onion powder. Let's see if we can find the onion powder. I took out all the spices and I didn't line them up properly. Bad on me. All right, let's make that ranch. Now that I've identified where my onion powder went, we're going to add this onion powder in here. Again, I'm just gonna keep it equal measurements for now, but you can add to your preference. I would say go ahead and add some garlic powder as well. And we're going to use some of this dill weed. And we'll just pour that in there. Get a good heaping amount of dill. I'm gonna use two because I really love dill. And ranch, I think without dill, it's just not ranch. And then we're going to use some, you can use parsley or you can use cilantro, it depends on what you like. Put that aside and we're gonna get some salt and pepper in there. And some kosher salt. Sometimes I use sea salt, sometimes I use kosher salt, it just depends. Now, I like this one actually with Greek yogurt to make my ranch, so you can do however you like, but I love the fact that you can get some great protein out of that as well. 
And I don't feel like you can really, it's not as creamy as if you were to use a mayo base or anything like that, but I think it's really great. All right, so just like that, done. So let's move on. Let's do something maybe a little bit spicier. So let's make some taco seasoning. All right, so let's get some chili powder. Okay, we got our chili powder in there and we're gonna grab some cumin. And again, if you don't want equal parts, if you want it a little stronger in the cumin, then you add more, that's up to you. And I will say, once you stir it around, give it a little taste, you'll know what you like and what you want. We're gonna add a bit of salt in there. Good, we're gonna put a little bit of dried oregano in there. Where did oregano go? Just about half of the amount, there we go. And then we're going to put some pepper. And I like a, a bit of aggressive pepper. Good, and we'll put some onion powder in there. You have to think about all the flavors that you like on everything. And that's how you combine them. And then we'll grab, you can add garlic powder at that point. And we're gonna add some spicy, smoky paprika. I love this for color and for flavor. And then just like before, we're gonna put that lid on there. Get the top on there. And give it a good shake shake. And it's just that quick. So in a day, you can go and make batches of everything and then you'll have them available when you need them. All right, let's make one more. We're gonna make a sweet one this time. We're gonna make a pumpkin spice. So we're gonna start with our cinnamon. Let's grab some cinnamon here. Now remember, to the extent that you can use organic or use the best product you can get, you're better off. Okay, we're gonna start out with a tablespoon of cinnamon. And we're gonna grab some nutmeg. I am a lover of nutmeg, love it. So if you're like me and you wanna use more, you certainly can. But remember, a little goes a long way. So we're gonna just use a quarter teaspoon. And then once you taste it, you can adjust it. And we're gonna grab a little bit of ginger. Again, not too much, just enough for flavor. And so if you do this all on the same day, then you only have to put it away once and you're good to go. And a hint of cloves. You can leave the cloves out if you're not a cloves lover. And then a tiny bit of allspice to round it out. So let's find some cloves in here. Mm -hmm, where are the cloves? Okay, we're gonna pretend that we put the cloves in there in the allspice and we're just gonna shake it up. You get the idea. Now I will go ahead once we're done here and I will finish that off, but I don't want y'all waiting on me. But the whole goal of today is to let you know that making spice blends are super easy. You probably have most of the herbs in your pantry anyway. It's great to combine them ahead of time. That way when dinner rolls around, you're not tempted to just use any old seasoning. You've got it ready to go. Preparation is half the battle. So let's get prepped, let's get that done. Make sure that we're hydrating, make sure that we're fueling our body, that we're moving as much as possible and make sure our eyes on the prize. Our prize is that when we're late 90s, 100, whatever it is, we're still active and moving and feeling great, right? It's not about having the perfect body, it's about having the most energized body we can have. So I hope this has inspired you and if you've liked the episode, I hope that you'll rate it and that you'll leave me some feedback and comments. I always look at those and I always wanna hear from you. You can email me, I'll leave it in the show notes. I will also leave the recipes in the show notes for you. Just remember to make them your own. If there's something I use that you don't like, leave it out, no big deal. All right, my friends, I wish you the best day. Sending you lots of love and prayers. Be well.